What up, everybody? This is Bones DK Golf, and I'm here with the one and only B. Covey, the winner of $100,000 last year. And what we're bringing to you is our first ever course preview. We are here at Southern Hills Country Club live on PGA 2K21, streaming on Twitch. And the idea of this is just to give you a hole-by-hole -hole breakdown and see what the course uh, looks like one hole at a time it is very helpful you'll see there's a lot of sand out here a lot of water and what we're going to do is watch b kobe play and uh give you the shot by shot breakdown b kobe how you feeling today not too bad it was a nice flight to oklahoma we're here at southern hills um i got the wind speeds at the pretty accurate level and i'm ready to play this will be actually my fourth practice round on this course so yeah, so we've, we've tried it out a few times, and we're excited to show you guys. So let's get this new round going. Southern Hills Country Club. You can see B. Kobe's character. Kind of looks like Troy Merritt. Plays similar to Troy Merritt. He might be a good play this week. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Hole one. And uh, not a lot of birdies in our first practice round, guys. A lot of uh, bogeys and pars. And you'll see hole one is actually one of the easier holes. You can see it's pretty straight. But the fairways aren't as flat as you think. A lot of a lot of uneven lies on the fairway here. We'll see how Kobe does on this on this recorded round. I mean, you know, a lot of pressure is going to be on this. <laughs> Coming off my best practice round at even par, honestly. So, let's see if I can top that. So we you got can... the wind speeds up a little bit. So. Yeah, we brought the wind speeds up a little bit. They're calling for 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. You see, this first hole is somewhat open, big green. Um, they cut the rough down on the edges of the green, so it's going to be a lot like the Texas wedge type things, where you know you're going to be putting off the green possibly. So here's an approach by Kobe. See how I played that slope? There's a lot of rollout on these greens. A lot of rollout. You can see he hit the front too. of the green there and rolled all the way to the back. I did notice around the greens too. There's going to be a lot of options like. It seems like most of it is that like Bermuda kind of fairway surface. Mm -hmm. So you could putt this, you can chip it. I'm probably just going to drain it. See at the bottom of the green there, you don't want to go short here because it rolls to the back. But then if you go long, it rolls to the back of the green as well. So great chip by Kobe there. Thank you. Tap in par, even through one. So again, number one isn't going to be the... The most difficult hole. You do not want to be plus one after one uh, on this course, but it, it gets way more difficult as we go. So, yeah, hole two, 500 yard par four. You can see this stream too. Like this, I noticed this stream kind of runs through the entire course and it comes into play a lot on the tee shots. See a tree right in the middle of the fairway here. We do have the wind working with me, so. That creek going through the whole entire course, coming into play on number two. Come on, give me that kick. There. The rough doesn't seem too long here, but again, you want to be accurate with all those trees around. Second shot about 180 in, sand traps Who was to it? right think, and left. I think they talked to Rory and basically said, you kind of want to play this course backwards. Like, if you see, you, you don't want to miss long here because of the way it slopes back and there's that stream in the back. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the greens are rolling out pretty fast. They you seem to be playing to play pretty fast. Miss. And if you go long here, you can see the green rolls out of the back right into that water. I mean, that is going to come into play this week. It's going to be crazy. I mean, it might come into play right now. Also. Here we go. Here's a great example. Sit Hits down. it long. Sit down. And he's in the water on number two already. That is the first time I did that, too. <laughs> This is a great example, though, guys, of, of what you're going to see. I mean, number two is a difficult hole. There's water in play. There's a lot of sand. This is not going to be a birdie fest, I'll tell you that much Definitely right now. Not. All right, sits pretty well, rolls out, has about five feet to save bogey here. I did also notice, and you will as well, that there are going to be a lot of, like, Five to ten footers for pars, for bogeys. So I would not overlook the putting stat here. Yeah, putting is something that we're going to consider this week just because the greens are so difficult. The first two didn't look too bad, but as you see through the round, there's a lot of elevated greens, uh, a lot of downhill 
putts that you got to do. It, it is a difficult putting surface here. Hole three, you see that stream is everywhere. Second time we've seen the stream in play. Into some wind. Drew three holes. Oops. Beautiful swing. Good recovery drive out of Kobe there on this number three par four. And I still have 193 uphill into the wind. Pull now you can see this green. Page. Look so at that. Is... If you miss left, you're going to have a long putt ahead of you. Yeah, Lagging I mean, button is going to be important here. You have to like kind of choose. Do I want to miss short and run off to the front, or do I want to miss long, honestly? I'm going to go long because, you know. Well, you're pretty good out of the sand, and sand is going to be issued this week. Uh, I think players would probably want to land in the sand rather than have a couple lag putts. In my I agree. Opinion. I do agree. See, now there's a good swing, and it's going to really cause some problems. As you see, rolls off. No rough at the back of the green. It's going to be that weird, awkward chip or putt here. Now, the pin selections will be different, obviously. Um, this is just one round. We're just giving you an idea of what the course looks like and what to expect on each hole. Here's that, um, I think, eight-foot par look. It's a little slope, so. Nice little up and down there. Use the whole hole. <laughs> Use the entire <laughs> hole there. Plus one through three. You'll get this. And I actually looked at Tiger Woods' 2007 round. He was plus two through three to start the tournament okay. and came back to win that at eight under. Not many round, not I, many tournament overall scores are going to be under par. I don't be. see any bogey-free, that many bogey-free rounds or definitely not like a bogey-free tournament type deal here at all. No, there's going to be a lot of bogeys. If you can escape with a bogey-free round. Here's, I did <laughs> notice from my first three rounds of this course, you definitely don't want to miss right here. And everything kind of slopes that way. You definitely don't want to be taking a penalty and having to drop right behind the tree. So, Great intel there. So that's a great... You're going to want to play left. And play, some, play not to miss it in certain spots. Perfect drive. Look, it bounced to the right there towards the yeah, water. I played left too, and it's just... You almost can't play hard enough. Number four, really uneven fairway. And I don't know how accurate this is as far as the rough, um, like the rough, how heavy the rough is, but this game makes it seem like the rough here is not really an issue. Maybe just as far as like not being able to get spin on the ball. Right. But it's it doesn't seem like it's too deep. I think you got to more worry about the trouble you get into. It's I not agree. the length of the rough, it's the trees and the sand traps that you got to try to avoid. Definitely. Here. Elevated green here on number four. You'll see a lot of these. And this is where you want this lag putting. 22 feet, 24 feet. These greens are no joke. A lot of them are tiered and elevated. And just the rollouts are kind of crazy from what I'm seeing. Taking his time on this putt. Tracking towards the hole. It's got a... Got to stop quick. All right. Not, not too bad. Bars are good. How many three footers are, are we going to be see see miss this week? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm. I know my target is not going to be the guys that typically miss those three footers. So I'm definitely looking harder into putting this week. And you know, I love Keegan Bradley at 7,500, but you got to watch out for his putting, man. I mean, he here. All right, now here's the first of two par fives, right? You have that stream to the right, so you can't miss too far right. Obviously, it's a dog leg left, so if you miss left, you have to punch out or lay up. And I think we'll see some people driving through this fairway, too, to be honest, especially with this wind type of a wind direction. Yeah, you're going to see you got a lot of guys using driver, but as you saw in the first practice round, you went into the trap there by hitting it too far with driver. Now, this looks like a much better that, shot. Yeah, that was my best drive on this hole. But look at that. If you didn't have that draw on there, that was going right into so the sand trap. This the is my best drive on this hole. I've actually, I don't know if I've, in three rounds, I've birdied a par five, to be honest. So I have a, I hit that great. Clearly, I'm not laying up. I will correct you there. You did 
birdie this hole actually. Uh, yeah. You were, you were oh, yeah, one yeah. under through nine. And from the fair, yeah. yeah that's true. And, this, and this was from the trap. You were in the trap on the first round. You got it up and down for birdie, so that was a good. This is a birdie. I think that's a good swing with the driver off the deck. <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> right in between all that sand, but look As at the I'm danger. As I'm saying, you won't see any eagles. Yeah. I'm about to show you. I'm about to give you one right here. That was a risky shot, though. Risk reward there. I mean, he really Definitely. split this, the traps there. A lot of traps around, around this hole. They usually tell you not to miss eagle putts short. So beautiful putt there. Gave himself a little knee knocker. Six feet, six foot bender here. This is where the money is made. All right, beautiful it. birdie. I will take it. So even through five, I think if your guy is even through five with a birdie, you are perfectly fine so far. I'm going for this cut. That's my goal. All right, so a long par three. A long par three. 200 yards. We, we have that stream again. Man, I love this course preview. I mean, this is something I never even considered. Get up there. A lot of danger here. What I wanted, but the wind just took a little bit too much. So we notice this on every round we've played so far on this number six par three. Um, it bounces hard to the left there. I mean, it could go even into the water there. So you do not yeah. want to miss left. Yeah. You're going to be in the trap. There's going to be a lot of water. You want to miss right here. Another key stat we're looking at is sand saves. I honestly, I. The sand is all over the course. The sand around the green and from the fairways is going to come into play for most of the field. Oh, toilet bowl. Toilet bowl <laughs> in for the par. I don't think we'll see that many birdies on that hole. In fact, I think we're going to see a lot of bogeys on that par three Definitely. with that water and those traps. The now, green's tough, too. I, I played a different round where I was behind the green, and it's really fast coming back. So we're on number seven here, another par four, 475 yards. Not too much danger off this tee box, so you can kind of grip it and rip it here. You can see some trees, but that water not really into play off the drive. There's another risk reward. Like I know, I think this club's gonna be short, but I know if I hit this one, the stream's into play. We have a lot of runoff too. Like you missed this green, right? Water is in play on this yeah, approach shot. There's sure. no doubt about it. And then sand off to the left. So, and this, the fairway is also sloped to make that the like prevailing miss. Basically, it's true. Like, it is sloped to the right. Everything wants you to go there, and the bailout is kind of in the sand. So, it's kind of where I'm going. Hopefully, some great intel on this number seven. Tricky approach shot. Oh, it's a perfect swing. Let's see if I confident right. shot. Let's see if I play Gotta get right. legs. And that's all I could do there. Look at that roll back. So this is going to be a tester up and down elevated green here. Another awkward lie. Yeah. Shooting off to the right. And that's where scrambling is going to come into play this Big week. Time. Great up and down here as long as you can knock in this four footer and it goes right in. I like your putting so far, Kobe. Thank you. <laughs> Feeling solid. Not hitting my lines, but they're going in the hole. Is this a yeah, here now this is a brute of a par three. Two fifty into twelve mile an hour winds, maybe up to twenty, honestly. But Yeah, we're gonna go fifteen to twenty mile per hour power I, winds my here. Three wood might not be enough. Two fifty in the face with traps around. Oh no. And this is where you're gonna find some trouble. Don't hit the path. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, at least, it. all right, luckily the pin is in a redeemable See. spot. This shot's almost impossible if they have the pin back here. And that win, that win's Favorable win. pin selection here by the game. But as you see, he has to go over two traps. Come on, slow. Oh, no way. 44 feet for par on the 250-yard par downhill here too. And if you miss long, it might. I'm not rolling out the bunker, so should be safe here. 
see how his lag putting is. This is why I love John Rahm actually this week is because of how great he is at long putts and lag putting. I mean, that dude is a machine on lag putting. 12 foot par putt. Come on now. Nice little save there. Gets yeah, away with bogey. bogey. Yeah. Plus one through eight. Again, I don't even think that you're playing that poorly right now. No, I'm feeling good about this round. I'm going to get it back. So I wouldn't panic if your guy is plus one through now, eight. Here's a, this is a tough hole as well. It's a very narrow fairway. you got the bunkers on the right. Trees on the left, so accuracy off the tees. I think that's my... Maybe. All right, so let's see. The tree is in play here. This is what's going to happen. If you're not accurate off the tee, driving distance is a big stat to us, but what I'm noticing is you want to be accurate as well. It's green, too. There's like, one, two, there's like four tiers on this green. And you can see the rough isn't really an issue around the green. It's... It's a lot of short rough, but awkward lies. Yeah, it's another slope. This is trouble. You don't want to see your golfer here on any day. He gets it through. Risky shot. It's going to be a really tough up and down. Uphill. Awkward line, the fairway again, oh, elevated green. Do, do not want to miss a short, as you can see. Into the wind, too. What's he thinking on this one? Really just a great idea of what you're going to see on the course this week. I mean, this is... I don't think you can get any other course preview like this, in my opinion. I agree. Huge par. This might be the par of my life. Massive par Just save down. there. Did not want to go into the back nine plus two. So 36 on the front. I think that's a standard round you're going to see yeah, out here. Absolutely. Found yourself in a little bit of trouble on the front. Now keep in mind, too, the scores that you're looking at from 07. They've added hundreds of yards to this course since then. I think, they did widen. I think they did widen a few of the fairways. They made a few of the spots a little easier, but it's, it is longer. Yeah, they did cut down some trees, added 300 yards. But, man, they cut down some street trees. I still see a lot of trees out there. <laughs> now, this, I think this should be all right. I was going to say, it needs to chill. If you land it off that slope, that stream comes back and play again. And notice I haven't really had a flat fairway lie yet. Yeah. The first anywhere, I'd say like two to three holes were okay fairways. After that, you're really starting to see this these difficult fairways, which makes it even more difficult when you compound that with like these tiered greens. Tiered greens coming into play a lot more as the course goes on. Elevated green by 18 feet. This might be all right. Not too Take bad. Take greens, though. Greens and regulation should be all right. So we've got a 45-footer here. Another massive lag putt here. Which is going to be all you need. Is a lag putt up for par, and you'll be contending in this tournament. At green, you can putt from just about anywhere. Take that. Got a putt. All right, nice nice tap in par there Pars for Kobe. Good. Plus seen, one through ten. I don't know if we'll see many streaks, many eagles, any of the real scoring assets. And I mean, you might you might have a few, but yeah, as DraftKings purposes, he's talking about you get a streak if you have three birdies in a row. You get a bonus point if you have a bogey free round. Those will be limited this week. Look at this same that same stream. Tons, what's the name of this little stream? Is there you got any intel on that? That's a good it's call. A nice little stream. It is a factor in this course, and we should get the name of the stream. I do not. 
I do not have a name in the stream. Once again, you're going to get these long 25 footers here a lot of the times. So, oh man, a little tester there. So we're coming in, that was a par three, 11. 11. Now 12, I I feel like I've heard some talk about how cool of a hole this is. Got a tailwind to deal wind, with. The wind is helping. I've noticed, yeah, I mean, I guess you don't really have to move the ball a lot, but I've seen a few that dog leg less, so draw could be helpful in some of these holes. He's going right for that trap though with this draw. That's how you want to do it. Come on, slow. Beautiful drive on this dog leg left. Awkward lie in the fairway again. Yeah, Slow down to the left. Downhill and going left. Plus that you don't want to miss right here. The wind's kind of forcing it right. Great view of the green there. Thank you, Kobe. We'll see the slope here. Sand everywhere. A lot of water and sand around these greens. Yeah, you hit it well. That's, oh, that's not going to do it. Underestimated the wind Kick a little left bit. towards the water. You are going to see balls go into that water kicking left like that. Yeah, for sure. Especially as it dries up. I know it's supposed to rain a little bit, which might make the conditions a little softer. But it is in the Midwest, Oklahoma. It dries up quick. Look at that lie. Now my swing is falling apart a little bit here. So if I can scramble some pars out, I'm going to be absolutely happy with it. Scrambling is, is an important stat this week. But again, if you're missing the green, if your irons aren't in, you are going to be struggling this week. So the approach... <laughs> um, yeah, but you're gonna, you're, you, you know, stroke skiing approach. You know, we're considering it not being that important. I do not think you want to be scrambling here. If you, if your irons are on and you can scramble and save yourself, that's how you're gonna win. But man, if you're scrambling the entire tournament, you're gonna be having a long day. So out scrambling there. for pars, not you know, right? Like he, here's the second par five, six thirty. So yep, second of two par fives. Both over 630 yards. That should work. Nice I'm glad I hit the, the fairway here because I want to show you guys this second shot. So a big second shot coming here. 298. Downhill with some slope. 300 from the green. But if you look, it's almost impossible to be aggressive unless you want to. I mean, I do want to, so I'm going to try it. But We'll play the aggressive stance here. Obviously, you can lay up in front of those two yeah, this, pawns. I mean, I might be able to, my last driver to get on. So, little note to anyone listening and watching: he did go water on this hole and double it in the first round. That's true. By being aggressive. Big shot I like here. To learn from my own mistakes and make the exact same. Called it again. right into the water. That is the second time Kobe's hitting the water here. That really hurt me last time because this is no bargain. Two names I can I think of when I think of water. Tony Fino and Tommy Fleetwood. Tommy Fleetwood. <laughs> they love swimming. Going in the water. I actually can't wait to see those two in somewhat contention and go into the water on Sunday. I mean, it that, happened. <laughs> that's how it happens every time. Okay, not too bad of a pro shot here, well, but look at that was, rolling back off was. the green. Yes, yes. They did say, I did hear something interesting about this course. The, like, I think five of the last six or seven winners or something like that have had a share of the lead in every single round when they won. Wow. So I heard it's like a really tough course, but not the most exciting t tournament. Someone kind of just plays well and like dominates. And right. Who, who, comes, to your, who comes to mind <laughs> when you think of that? Fitzpatrick? I just think of the Masters. 
Scotty, Scotty, yeah. And just kind of like held on. So <laughs> I need a reason. If you're listening, you can comment on my YouTube video, go on my Twitter. I need one reason not to play Scotty Scheffler. Anyone listening out there, send me one reason not to play Scotty Scheffler. Not one word, not multiple reasons, just one reason why not to play him. I need to hear it. So Kobe escapes with bogey there on, on that par five. That's the second time he's bogeyed that in two rounds. So I would not consider that par five. Actually, double bogey. Is the first yeah. Time, but yeah. But that is not an easy par five. A lot this of danger. not an easy par three either. Two, I mean, it's absolutely surrounded by sand. 224 into 13-mile-an-hour wind, which is probably what they'll be seeing. I know this this game actually takes into account the wind direction, too, so mm-hmm. you may see some of the same winds. I'm just going to try and get it on the green. So if you paid attention last week, number 14 was that drivable par 4, and I think 13 was that par 5, so that was an opportunity there, 13 and 14. I'll just These up. holes you want to try to escape with par. If you I'll can get through 13 and 14 away. with pars, you're going to be happy. So that's something to note if you're watching a your guy sweat on Saturday or Friday trying to make the cut 13 and 14 are difficult holes and what you'll see I'll be a lot honest I don't think there's one hole I'd be mad about a par on this mm-hmm. course a birdie is a stroke on the field and a, and a par is even um, you know typically like some of these like you get away with birdie on number 14 last week. That wasn't even that great. That was like a par because it was such an easy hole. So if you get away with par, par here, you are almost one up on the field, honestly, after that. As you the see, plus two these. through two on 13 and 14, difficult holes. Now we follow up with a little easier par four, 410 yards. This one's not too bad. I don't see that stream into play, that creek. Man, that stream, that's a great call by Kobe there. Really noticing that stream is just it's everywhere. Winding through the course, kind of course like a little snake. It does look beautiful, though. It's going to be really hot. Just nice weather minus potential thunderstorms. But it's going to be like uphill into some crazy wind. I don't know. Try this. It's not the swing you want. Awkward stance, and you see the ball shoot off right into the sand there. Bones, have you been keeping count? How many bunkers have I been in so far? The trap is an issue here. Who comes to mind with sand trap play? Two guys. As far as not? No, the best sand play. trap. Oh, the no, best the good ones. Sand trap. Jordan Spieth. Lowry's a beast. Lowry. Lowry's really good. And Rory McIlroy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Rory, too. Those worry. are some of the best sand trap players in the world. The only one I worry about a little bit in the sand, like as far as those top tier plays, is Hovland. Mm-hmm. Now I've seen him struggle a few rounds, but I do. He did go to Oklahoma State. He's, I mean, well, here's the thing: you worry about. It's pretty scary to tee the green. You worry about Hovland's putting and around the green and sand play. But when his irons are dialed in and he's hitting it to three feet, it might not matter. Yeah. It might not matter. So. That is something to consider. Um, Hovland's not getting much love either uh, so far on projected there's ownership. A, there's a little streak for you. There's a bogey streak there for you. Four over. All right, so this is a par four, 512, 512 yards. It was 100 yards longer than the last par four. I would really like to get back off the bogey streak here. So Pounds it down the middle. Tree's not going to be a problem. Perfect lie in the fairway. So this is an opportunity my here. Chance. That wind is making me. Look at the sand trap around the greens again. Just something that we're pointing out on this course preview. Wow, it's not a good swing. I might find the green though. Yeah, there's the club. Another long lag putt here, 43 feet. I think Cantlay is an amazing lag putter. Rom. Oh, yeah. Those those guys I consider great that's lag putters. That's what makes them so good. They're short game. That's how you win tournaments. That's how you score. And that's what makes me a little worried about Morikawa. You know, I, I, his, his lag putting isn't the best. Oh, no. 
Look at that. Pushes the first one. You know, I Falling was, apart here, bro. I, I was talking in the backswing. <laughs> <You were. laughs> Back nine this playing also, a lot more difficult. This, is, this goes to show, too, what pressure can do for you. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm usually just playing by myself in my basement. And now I got Bones and the whole DK fan, <laughs> fam here watching me. Recording every shot. Yeah, this is tough. We got the, the stream back really into play on in. number 17. But isn't that real life? You know, you play these practice rounds, you know, Merritt's out here playing Absolutely. these practice rounds, and it's okay. And then you get out to the real tournament where there's a crowd and it all matters. You have to put pressure into consideration here. And that's why, that's why these pro, the, the number one players in the world always show up in the majors, right? Because they are just, they have no, they feel no pressure. Absolutely. And that's why you see some, like, strange pricing. Like, Hadwin's been top tenning everything, and he's like $6,300. Yeah, 63 like, Yeah, <laughs> like... There's, I don't know, there's just some guys who step up in big moments. With yeah, this isn't the Mexico Open anymore or, you know, these these birdie fest tournaments. It's just... Now, this hole is short, but I notice it's really tough. Look at that movement on the green. Elevated green by eight feet. Got the stream somewhat in play. My tempo is a little off here, too. I mean, this is what you want to see. You don't want to see you hitting five footers. You know, you want to see what the greens look like. Well, keep in mind, like. Bones and I did a little uh, preview just to kind of test this out for last week's tourney. I think I was minus six or minus seven every round. So, yeah, very the accurate. Disparity between courses is real, and that was extremely accurate. We called the cut being minus four before the tournament even started. That's true. And that's that, what was it? Four or five? I think it went up to five. five. That's my pig squealing in the background. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that was a golf term or, <laughs> or <laughs> no, it's... talking about the dogs. Come on now. Ladies and gentlemen. I, mean, I, I could see this happening. Someone just gets a little down on their swings. It's a tough course. You start doubting yourself. And things just really fall apart. This is not an easy course. It's Only not... five people were under par. I was... Absolutely on a roll, and that's five straight bogeys. And it's not like you have that mentality where there's like, oh, I'll get it back next hole, because next hole is usually even harder. Look at the stream clearly in play here again, surrounding the fairway. All right, there's a bomb. Back at it. I want to finish strong here. But still, like... The slopes, the wind, it's up 40 yard, forty feet uphill. I still have 190 out. So what's that, two? 40 feet two, of elevation two. gain with 190 I mean, I yards I miss out. short every single time I play this hole, so I'm, that's just my goal is not to miss short. Calm, relax, relax. Get up. The sand trap set up perfectly. Yeah. And look at that sand trap. That yeah, is not going to be like, easy up and down I mean, there. I guess you don't really want to miss long either. Because imagine putt it with, with this pin placement, trying to putt that back. Mm -hmm. That's not fun. I'm sure on Sunday it will be the back of the green there. So if you come up short, you're going to have like a 50-foot yes. lag putt uphill. All right, let's see. This I consider the Thursday pin, pin placement here. get out of here come on back wow scrambling again perfect example of how this course can just eat you alive quickly stay, stay. <laughs> long lag butt here 10 footer pretty much straight in there we go all right, so that is it, guys. That is the course preview of all 18 holes, 7 over Plus 77 seven. for Kobe, and I considered it, that round pretty decent. I mean, originally I wanted to make the cut. Now I just want to see how many guys I can beat round one. So it's been a pleasure, Bones. Yeah, thank you, guys. That's our course preview. I hope that helped. It definitely helped me. I mean, I saw a lot that I did not know about this course in this preview, all those sand traps, the water in play. 
uh, uncomfortable lies in the in the fairway and not a lot of rough around the green. So hopefully this helped you out, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in. We will start doing this every time we can. It's on the game. And uh, I have zero followers on Twitch. This is the first time we've done it. So you can follow my Twitch if you want, at Golf, or just go to my YouTube channel and Twitter. I will post it on there. Thank you, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the podcast later today, and good luck.